Sears Compact 7. They were made between 1970 and 1972. The guy I bought it from was 82 years old. He made this attachment here for the back himself. And this allows you to set the height for your pitch. We're going to fill this up with some rock and test this thing out. This is what I consider a small load of rock on our trailer. I really don't know what to expect for hauling power here. Okay, from a cold start, without the choke on, let's try it. That concludes our review of the Sears Compact 7. We rode that little thing right off to Tractor Heaven. We did end up selling that and got our money back out of it. It just didn't compare to the three-wheeler for what we're doing. You can see the size log here behind us that we've got. This thing actually had a 250 cc engine, hauls quite a bit of weight and it does it quickly and it's enjoyable to drive. So if you had a little yard that you're moving leaves around or a little garden patch or something that you wanted the tractor for I could see why but um, here we've had to move on and go right back to the three-wheeler so now realistically I'm looking for something that's more 20 25 30 horsepower and uh, mid-sized tractor I don't want to get something really large because then it becomes an issue transporting it and a big cost if it breaks down and you need to bring it somewhere so I need to get something that I can haul behind a small trailer hopefully in time we'll find what we want to do our work over here <laughs> Test two, we have some farm fence we have to take up to the pig corral and we're driving this off-road through some of our trails. I've got some rocks to climb over here coming up so I'm just going to go in first gear and you can see it's slower than a walking pace. Our second gear. I found it was straining to haul just the trailer in third gear coming through here. Just hauled ass over a stump. Tractor has just three gears for second, third, and reverse. We're in second gear right now, successfully towing a coil of farm fencing through our trail, and it's about the pace that you know I might do with a wheelbarrow, probably a little slower. So it's like having a powered wheelbarrow. All it has is a clutch mechanism here. 
push that in, shift your gear, first, second, third, we'll try it out. There you can hear it lugging going up just a tiny incline. Go back to second. You gotta have patience to drive this thing. And what I did like about this is that seemingly it does have larger tires than most contractors. So I, and it has pretty good ground clearance. I thought it might go some places and it's built really well very simple mechanisms you know so it wouldn't be prone to breaking uh, if I had a better engine in this I bet it might actually be worthwhile having but for what I'm doing and the weight I need to haul and distances to travel this is not going to work very well unless I can be really patient the dog as well crawling through the roughest section of our trail over to our pig shelter. Hell, it got us here.